Charlie, get a move on. Will you try pumping a little faster? Hey, Bona, I'm already doing it. All right, you can stop now. Hey, Jacqueline! What do you want with Dr. Goddard? Do you have a message for her? Telegram from Hamburg. Nairobi sent it through. Oh, good. Let's see it. What do you want to do? Tamper with the mail, huh? Oh, don't talk foolish. Is it, is it yes or is it no? Jacqueline! Yes? Here. For me? Congratulations. At last. Are you accepted? Yes, Professor. I'm afraid this means I'll be leaving here in a couple of days. We'll be sorry to see you go. We'll miss you. But anyway, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Uh, when is the next mail boat? In the three days. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> Jacqueline has been accepted by the Tropical Institute. She must return to Hamburg. Oh, that's quite a coincidence. I'll go with her. Oh? Here we go again. Someone has to bring my monkeys up to Hagenbeck. Oh, oh, oh. Well, what's the rush? They'll ride if I keep them caged up. <laughs> I wonder if he really thinks he's fooling us. Now, come on, I'll quit that. They're teasing you. It'll be very nice to have you for a shipment. Oh, say, where's Torrin? Don't worry, he'll be back in time to kiss you goodbye. <laughs> oh, Please keep your yeah. fresh remarks to yourself, Mr. Keller. Take it. Get on you. What to Buana? Why you no shoot? Kill everything right away and get going. <laughs> Come quick, come quick. It was the only thing to do. Hey, Seagull, what's over here? Simba Mwala, baby lion. Hey, little fellow. How did you get in the jungle all by yourself, eh? What are you doing up here? You're good and lost, eh? I take him. Yes. Open box. Hey, Jacqueline. Yes? I've hurt myself. It's nothing very serious. I'll bandage it for you. Sit down, will you please? You're too tall for me. My little Jacqueline. <laughs> Look, Keller, I wish you'd try to behave as the others do. I am the doctor of this expedition, and all the gentlemen of this expedition have given their word to forget that I am a woman. Oh, yeah. First you drive us crazy, then you... <laughs> I will try to forget that. As for your arm, you can bandage it yourself. Hey, you big ape, if you ever again make a pass at our poor little doctor, I'll make goulash out of you.
Aber. Du aber. Oh ja, du ja, Bruder. Da, komm und hey. Integrita. Muy poak tu, poak volante, yakunda. Look, I'm not kidding, and don't try to tell me I was seeing things. She is a white girl. Sure, of course, and she even spoke your language. Eh? Seeing as how you weren't around, what else could she do? Do I have to listen to your dumb jokes? Come here, Tor, and I want to take your temperature. Look, I don't have a fever, and I'm not crazy either. And if they don't want to believe me, so much the worse for them. Listen, everyone, please. Suppose we say Torn actually saw it. He really saw a white girl. Oh, that would be a real sensation. Would you come with me tomorrow early and show me where you saw this creature? Yeah, I'd be glad to. What are you doing tomorrow? I'll be with Kirsten. We're going after deer. <laughs>
चाहे वो यहाँ का सीनिक She really is a white girl. I'm going to try to move in closer here. Ah, she's getting away. Tough luck. I wish I could have taken a few more shots of her. Too bad. We can try to palaver with the photos tomorrow morning. Do you suppose they'll be willing to give her up voluntarily? They must. They'll realize we just can't leave her here. Hey, look, here she comes. You want to trap her? Of course. Get up in the tree. Get the net ready. Look sharp. Out for deer. Oh, let's go. always sound the same to me. Why should we bother recording them? Torrin says we need all we can get to understand the language of the drums. And if Torrin says it, it's the law, hmm? Why not? After all, Torrin is the chief of our expedition. I think he's more. Everyone can see Jacqueline's in love. You're right, Tibor. Everyone but him. Torrin's coming. Have the others returned yet? No. We heard shots and right after the drums began to speak. The whole jungle's been growling for two hours. Hey, Savo. Hello, Thorin. Good evening. Would you like a little tea? Thanks. <laughs> It's pretty hot. Dinner will be ready right away. Later, I've got to develop this film. No tea for me? Oh, I'm sorry, Professor. Don't open the flap. They've got her. Who? Your white girl. She's over with Jacqueline now. He's unconscious. So much the better. Why so? I'll have to make a couple of incisions, and we're all out of anesthetic. <coughs> Why don't you at least take that cruel net off? It's torture to keep her like that. If I do, there'll be the devil to pay. The beast scratches and bites. She's a human being, not an animal. Teleki, <coughs> will you assist me? Yes, gladly. This doesn't look good at all. These drums are going to drive me off my nut. You've got us into a fine mess. Because of this cat here? Yes, did you think the Bodos would tolerate something like this? Well, what are we going to do about it? Just for a start, we can get her out of that net. She's not a wild animal. She's not much else, I tell you. Ah! He'll ah! hurt himself getting down. Uh-oh. Why'd you bite me? I told you she's a wild animal. Keep away from her. Now then, little one. What's the matter? I'm not going to hurt you. You know that. Maybe you're hungry, eh? It's good. Come on. <laughs> the 
that's all we can do for him now. We'd better let him sleep for a few hours. He'd be able to. The drums are quiet now. Hey, look up. One and Pilabadia. Wodo Pilabadia. Call the men out. The Vodos are attacking. Alarm! Bring them on. I'm ready. Actually, the Vodos are in the right. After yeah, all, we stole the girl from them. Nonsense. Who shoots first is right. No, he's in the wrong. What did you say? There's too many of them. We can't hold them off much longer. I'm going to hook up the recorder. What are you doing? And you break out the loudspeaker. All right. Kiahi? Oh, you are Kiahi. Your friends are calling you. Kiahi? All right, plug in the cable. <laughs> that was too much for our friends. <laughs> Great work, Torin. Everyone can see Jacqueline's in love. You're right, Tibor. Everyone but him. Torrin's coming. Huh? Even you know it now, huh? Yeah. Where do you think you're going, you wildcat? Let her alone! Let's get it straight. You keep away from her, or I'll kick your teeth in. Don't worry. That wildcat can take a lot of punishment. At least she's quiet now. Look, the safest thing to do is lock her up overnight in one of the cages. I don't think she'll run away now. And what if she wakes up? So one of us has to stay here and watch. Good, who'll be first? I will. You can relieve me. Mm. All right, then. Good night, Jacqueline. Good night. Good night. I must go see how Kirsten is. I'll go with you. Kirsten is sleeping quietly. Hmm? Oh, that's good. She is, too. Jacqueline. Hmm? It was a silly accident. I happened to overhear what you said to Tibor on the tape recorder. Oh, that was silly. You mustn't get any wrong ideas now. Oh, don't worry, I won't. Thanks. I've been wanting to tell you something for a long time, but I just couldn't get up the courage. And the play we made when we started, to respect you. Well, you haven't broken your word. If anyone tried, I'd bash his teeth in. I can protect myself all right. If I want to. If you... Jacqueline. <laughs> we must be reasonable now. I'm going to Hamburg on Friday morning. Jacqueline, Wait. please. The little one might wake up. She's leaving. Don't worry. And I guess I ought to be, too. Good night. Good night, Jacqueline. What does she have around her neck? Why, it's a good luck charm. It's a medal with an angel on it. I wonder if this could tell us something about her home. Ah. But this one's engraved. An L. Louisa. Hmm. Lillian. I'll bring it to Professor Danner. He can call Nairobi by radio. Uh, good night. Huh? 
Of course. Sleep well. I'll keep watch out here. shower. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Come, now we use the soap. There. Feel good? Oh, you're already learning to speak, huh? <laughs> You'll be ready right away. Well, how do you like yourself? I'm afraid I've got to cut your hair. Your hair? Not mine. Yours. Yours. <laughs> Not much else we can do with it. That mane is horrid. Might as well get to it. Don't move around so much. Don't you like your funny little face? Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to let me see what you look like? Ah, that looks so much better now. Morning. Ah, Torin, good morning. Good morning, Jacqueline. Well, what do you think of this, eh? We've stirred up something. The whole world is asking for information about the little white girl we found living with... Wodos. Hey, she's almost pretty. Uh-huh. Kia he. that's her name. Did she tell you anything besides that? Oh, yes, a great deal. But I couldn't understand it. Kia he, that must be a native word. How about your drum talk, Torin? Do you suppose she might understand us with that? Mm. Hunger. There, she answers. She must have understood. Fine, I suppose you ask her what happened to her birth certificate. <laughs> I wonder if she'd still recognize whatever language her parents spoke. Oh, when she was a child. She ought to remember something, a couple of words. A ship? Huh? Schiff? Bato? It's not much there. Water? Wasser? Aqua? It's nothing. Try with me. Mare. Mother. Muta. Muta? She understands. Stunned. Oh. She babbles just like a pretty parrot. No, no. She knows that word. Look out, she bites. Be careful, Torin. Torin? Ho, ho, ho. I believe you've made quite a nice impression on our little friend. No, she's just trying to express herself. You can see she's intelligent. Just look at the shape of her face and her eyes. She must come from a pretty good family, I'm sure of that. <laughs> Who shall I say is calling? Just a moment, please. The commissioner's on the line. Yes, I did. All right, I'll please her. Whom do you wish to see, please? Mr. Gehring. Oh, I'll have to announce you. Uh, would you give me your name, please? How long have you been working here? I've been here over a year and a half. Oh, so that's it. Excuse me, sir, but you can't walk in that way. No? Watch. Please, sir, you mustn't. Good morning, Uncle Theo. Mr. Armalonen? Her employees won't even let me in the plant anymore. Oh. She might have recognized you if you hadn't been away so long. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I, I really couldn't. I didn't know your face. Very well, Miss Hanuman. Excuse me. Uh, you have a fine setup here now. Oh, I, I really wanted to... Um... Oh, what have I done with... Well, there it is. Have you heard this? What? What is it? Murder in Elmbrook. 
No, no, this over here. Girl found in jungle. What's that to us? But don't you see, Victor? Couldn't this be Liane? Who's Liana? Oh, but Victor, she's my granddaughter. Look, Uncle Theo. But why couldn't it be she? The age is right. It was 18 years ago the ship went down. With all the passengers. But suppose they got to shore someplace. A two-year-old child. But her Negro Alma was there with them. And she took the child to live among her own people. Maybe she did. It's pure imagination, Uncle Theo. Even so, Victor, I want them to investigate. If you call the police, maybe they can find something that they could help. If it'll calm you, I'll put through a call. To whom? One of our agents. Miss Hanuman, get me Baker in Port Said. Easy there, watch out. I'd like to get them to Hamburg in one piece. Well, goodbye, Jacqueline. Goodbye, and thanks, Professor. Jacqueline, we'll all miss you. Best of luck. I'll miss all of you, too, very much. Be sure to wash it every day with peroxide. Let's go, Torrin. Is she ready? Yeah. Now, watch yourself in the big city, do you hear? Jacqueline, take good care of her, eh? She'll be the apple of my eye. Good luck, Jacqueline. And think about me sometime, eh? Mm -mm. You think about me. All set here, we go. Beep, beep. Hey, Torin, what have you done to the little girl? It's easy to see who she wants. <laughs> Come on, you'll be all right in the car. Hi, Torin. Got to have it your way. You'll have to go along with her. Yes, what are we going to do now? Maybe she wants some anesthetic. Stop that nonsense now. Torin, can you go with them? Me? Well, hardly. Well, you can see she won't go without you. Yeah. You're right, I guess. It's the only way. But good, then. Go get your bags. Galicky, that means you stay. Yeah. But but who look after my apes? Torn will take care of them. Oh, come on. <laughs> look, I can't get along without both of oh. you. And I was really looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm along in Port Said. Oh, Mr. Goering. Oh, yes, everything's in order. Ah, you've heard that story too, eh? My uncle thinks it might be his granddaughter, the one who died some 18 years ago. She was lost with both her parents in a shipwreck off Kenya. She was missing. They never recovered her body. Wait. Her name was Liani, wasn't it? He may be right. This girl is wearing a medal engraved with an L. He agrees that the whole thing is absurd. He says he's sure it must be some newspaper writer's fantasy. What a shame. Do you want me to check it for you? You know, it'd be a real sensation if she was really Amalongan's... Hello? Hello? Are you still there? Well, Uncle, I believe you can see for yourself. Yes. But the paper said she had a medal with an L on it. That's why I thought it might be Liani. And the gentleman from the newspaper thought so, too. What paper? I don't know, some paper. I spoke with him this morning. Then they already know that you think that she's your granddaughter? Certainly. Good Lord, that's all we'd want, headlines in the papers. Kiahi! Kiahi! I think she's disappeared again. You haven't been watching. It's all right. She's up there. Hey, you little devil, come on down here. Jahi! Jahi! Jahi, Rahu! Come on, boy, let's go. Shake it up. Get moving. Make it snappy. Hey, Sego, come on. Hey, Torin, I'm coming too. Well, well, you must have had a fight with Danner, eh? A 
Of course not. But you mustn't feel angry because I can manage monkeys and women better than you. Well, it just means I've got three idiots to take care of now. Yeah. <laughs> I promise I'll keep out of your way. Word of honor. Come on. Enough's enough. Let's go. Jacqueline. Yes? Teleki's coming with us. He has to on account of the monkeys. Oh, is that so? Not so. <laughs> Laugh if you want, but it's true. On account of the monkeys. <laughs> Also on account of the monkeys, all right? <laughs> all right, come on. <laughs> hey, listen. You know what Kiahi's name really is? Liana. Where did you find that out? I just heard a news report. Young girl found in the jungle may be long-lost granddaughter of shipbuilder in Hamburg. Then she's from Hamburg. That's where we're going. Hey, Liani! Himmel, himmel! Himmel, himmel! Hey, you'd better improve your accent. <laughs> well, what do you bid, Torin? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. If I had the Joker, I could open. But I don't have the Joker. Oh, you're cheating. I won't play with you. <laughs> no. She just gave me the card I really wanted. Very good, Liana. Now, what's that? Come on. Fly? <laughs> fly. Five. A fly is something that... It goes... I wonder if I'll ever teach you how to speak at this rate. How's the report coming along? Oh, awful. I'll never get it finished in time. Can I help you? Well, all right. Tell me how to explain that when a girl from the African bush wants to tell her man that she loves him, she... Uh, just a minute, let me take your hand. I won't bite. She holds his hand like this, over the top of her heart. <laughs> it's the truth, though, believe me. It's a funny way to do things. Yeah, of course, but it's much more hygienic. <laughs> Who's this man? What the devil's going on here? How did you get on over the side? You Tanga! Can't stay away on my ship. Tanga! I'll show you. Tanga! Yeah, he. Oh, you won't get away with this. Simba. Who is he? Is this man one of yours? What is all this? What's he yelling about? What am I yelling about? <laughs> this man is one of yours. He can't come on board here without a ticket. I'll try well, the Simba I don't allow no stories. Well, the Simba Well, he just can't throw a man into the water. And why not? I'm captain here. What I do here is the law. All right, so we'll pay for his passage if it makes it feel any better. Uh, how much will it cost? And uh, what about the lion? But the lion's only a baby. Huh? <laughs> That's right. We'll have to find something good for him to eat. All right, all right. You'll give him a bellyache. Oh, he doesn't want any. Come on now, I told you, that's enough. Hey, Liane, come here. Let her alone. She must do her homework. And you're her schoolmaster, huh? Well, somebody has to teach the girl to read and write, after all. Well, she'll have plenty of chance to learn in Hamburg, if she's really the granddaughter of that rich shipbuilder. Hope she isn't. For me? <laughs> Thanks. You... You must always bring tea to the lady first. He bring. Thank you. Liani's in love with you. With me? <laughs> Nonsense. I'd have noticed it by now. Would you? Oh, you mean because I... Well, maybe I am slow. But with her, it's just silly. It wouldn't be the first time that you were wrong. Jacqueline, why do you go out of your way to, to make me feel foolish? No, no. I believe I understand you now, Torrin. You want a woman to admire you because you're big and strong. Her protector. And I'm afraid I'm not your kind of a girl. 
You seem pretty sure about it. I am. Quite sure. But our little Liana is just... Now where's she running off to? You can't let her out of your sight for a minute. Hey, Liana, where are you going? Oh, no, you don't come here. You've got to do your lessons. <laughs> I've been holding this for you. Thank you. I hope I'm not getting in the way. Why, there's nothing to get in the way of. <laughs> I wonder how a man could be so dumb. I tell you, if I were taught him... It's all right. Thanks. What do you think of our little Liani? Mm, what is she, next to a woman like you? A pretty little bobblehead. Some men prefer pretty little bobbleheads, all the same. All right. Now make three rows of A's. And make them neat, understand? A's? for a young girl to behave. You might have got me really embarrassed if any... Well, let's see what you've done. Have you finished your work? And I thought I'd be able to teach you the alphabet before we even got to Port Said. Just a moment, please, will you be quiet? Liana's worn out and must have some rest. Can't you let her speak a few words? Please, ask her if she would not mind. Yes. All right, show them what you've learned. Oh, please, uh, yes. do it for me. You, my friends, all Homer? <laughs> all right, you've had your wish, ladies and gentlemen. Now, please, please let her rest. <laughs> For any. I'm here for Mr. Amalong, and my name is Gary. Ah. It was a little bit too much for her. Does she have any fever? No, oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Those reporters acted like they were crazy. <coughs> Leone, what's the matter with you? I believe she's jealous. Uh, Mr. Gary, from Hamburg. Hmm? Her grandfather sent him after her. Well, thank heaven we won't be responsible for her much longer. Well, I suppose we can find out what he wants. Good day. My name is Torin, Dr. Goddard and Mr. Tellick. I'm Goering, and I'm here on behalf of Mr. Amalongan. Then she really is his granddaughter? Well, that remains to be proven, of course. Here, she was wearing this pendant when we found her. Hmm. Interesting. Is this all the proof we have? Yes, but her parents would recognize it. They must know who gave it to her. Her parents are dead. I wonder if I might see her. Certainly. Please, Jacqueline. You think it will be easy to prove who she really is? I wonder. Well, after all, that thing should be proof enough. Why should it? She's really the granddaughter of Mr. Amalongan. She'd be in line to inherit a fortune. <laughs> well, you can buy one of these things anywhere. And it really wouldn't be much trouble to have it engraved. But everybody knows we found her living in the jungle among the savages. Oh? In simple words, you mean we're a bunch of swindlers, do you? Come, Liani. 
Here she is. Good day. My name is Gehring. She doesn't speak, eh? She doesn't know the language yet. You can say good day. Good day? Well, I will take her back with me. My plane leaves in half an hour. You want to take her now? Yes. I will have a thorough investigation made to prove she's entitled to anything. Will you pack her bags, please? Just a minute. Suppose you tell me what happens if your investigation turns out negative. Well, yeah. I think she'd better stay here. I'm sure that Mr. Goering will see if she's taken care of. We found Liani, and she's our responsibility. Well, at least until her grandfather is willing to recognize her in public. Oh, but my dear Mr. Torrin. Because if he does not recognize her, then she would be alone and friendless, a homeless orphan. Oh, but what could happen to her if Mr. Gang goes with her? Do you see? Come along, my dear. Wait. Keep away from her. Now, Torren. Do you mistrust me? If you want to know the truth. Yep. Look, my friend. Do you imagine that without my help you could obtain what's best for her? Do you? Well, you seem to forget that practically every newspaper in the entire world knows about her. And they'll make sure that she gets whatever she has coming. All right. Then here's my proposition. I'm willing to ensure Liana's protection by taking one of you back with us. Great. Well, get ready. <laughs> no, he means Torin. Do you agree? Yeah. Don't you want to change, Senator? They'll be here soon. You can't receive them in your house robe, you know. Oh, don't make such a fuss, Alma. I can't see why I must disturb myself just because I'm about to receive a visitor, a young girl. A young girl? Your new granddaughter? That's merely conjecture as yet, my dear Alma. Please, Your Honor, don't bother quoting me those legal phrases. We should be happy that someone young is coming to visit this old house. You almost said old cottage, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I can't disagree with her. What? Treason? In my own house? Very well. I saw him. <laughs> She's taken the best room in the house for a little savage and bullied me to let her fix it up. White curtains and a rose colored bedspread. Ah! She's females. Little savage. Shame on him. Oh, he was just joking. He picked it up from Mr. Gehring. You don't mean it. I sure do. Mr. Gehring was fit to be tied when he first heard the news, let me tell you. And if it were up to him, he'd send the poor little thing right back into the jungle. Well, after all, man in his position. Hmm? Oh, you mean because he's the sole heir of the old gentleman? Where did you learn that? <laughs> after all, I've been in the house quite a few years. Well, he really is, isn't he? I believe you could hear the termites talking, Alma. No, I'm just putting two and two together. It's no more than right. Now, when the poor child finally has found a home... Oh, good heavens. Here they are now. Senator, Mr. Ramalongan. Good day, sir. Here she is. Hello, Victor. Hello. Hello. So, this is the little one. Welcome, welcome. The senator will be down right away. Oh, there he is. Leon. It's your grandfather. The father of your mother. Mother? Mm-hmm. Don't you want to come over to me, Leone? Go on, Leone. Come, my child. 
Do you know who that is? M Mother? Well, he surely doesn't think that proves her identity. Honored, sir. I thank you. And who is that? That is Tonga. Ah. Tonga, Mwalaba. Tonga, good man. Certainly, certainly. Alma, see that she is taken care of. Come, you must be hungry. Come. A classic illustration of an old heart growing younger. It's to be expected. After all, I'm sure he's been very lonesome ever since his wife passed away. And now a pair of pretty blue eyes has conquered him. Oh, it's more than that, really. I would have expected a more realistic approach. Not to mention a greater sense of justice from the old gentleman. My dear Gary, your legal situation is quite clear. Mr. Amerlongen, after his daughter was shipwrecked, acted on a presumption when he made up his will. And you, his nephew, was named as his sole surviving heir. However, your rights now yield preference to whatever rights the granddaughter may wish to exercise. But I don't believe anyone has yet proved that she's really his granddaughter. Of course you're right, my boy, but let's suppose she really is. Then she is the sole heiress by law and custom. Of my company. Of Amalongan's entire estate. Who made Amalongan's estate what it is? I. Am I entitled to nothing? I'm sure my old friend won't forget what you've done. How oh, nice of him. The company I built. I poured my whole heart into it, and now he's trying to rob me. Because of that miserable girl. That company is my life's work. Come along and put me in charge of it. Oh, he has confidence in you, all right. He has very great confidence. And you must never betray his faith in you in any way at all. Of course. I thought I'd find you here. Why can't you forget about business for a while? Come on, watch the child. How marvelous she is. <laughs> she can already eat with a knife and fork. Come along. Come on. After you, sir. Please. Unfortunately, I did not keep all the letters, but here are some snapshots my daughter sent me. Uh, this was the house in Karachi. They moved there when Leanne was, let me see, one year old. Do you still remember it? That was your mother's house. You don't remember it, do you? I'm sure it'll go much better when she learns the language, when she can understand what we expect of her. Is that a secret language? Uh, you see, it's from talk or the Vodos. I can make myself understood simply. And you can also make certain you obtain the right answer, correct? If I'm being suspected here, it doesn't make much sense for me to try to clear up this matter, does it? No one suspects you, my dear Torrin, but you must admit your methods are strange, to say the least. Is that so? Hold on now, Victor. I also wish to clear up this matter. And for any help Torrin can give me, I am grateful. Let's see, you mentioned a briefcase of your daughter's, perhaps a letter that could connect Liana with your granddaughter, might be in it. I'll go through it first thing tomorrow morning. I want you to sleep here tonight. Thanks. And what about Tonga? Oh, we find a place for him. Alma, take Liana. Show her the room. We fixed up. There, now sleep well. Pleasant dreams. Good night. Night. And now I'm going to turn out the light.
चाहे Good morning, Frida. Good morning, Hansen. Why, Emma, what's wrong? Oh, I was just going through the hallway upstairs. I was just bringing Miss Alma her breakfast. Uh -huh. And sitting right near the door of Miss Leamney's room is this big savage glaring at me. Oh, my goodness. Are you sure he's not in the little house out in the garden? But I've just told you that. And Miss Leamney was not in her room. Oh. You better run up fast and tell Miss Alma about it. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. She already knows. Mr. Goering. The girl has disappeared. Liana? Have you looked for her? Of course. I don't know where she could have gone. Where's Torrin? In the first room. Get out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Morning. Liana's disappeared. What? Liana? Do you have any idea where she is? I? No. There she is. Leone. Morning. How did you get in here? Perhaps we'll have to clarify this. Oh, I'm sure it's quite harmless. I wonder if Mr. Ramalongan would agree. Come along, Miss Alma. Now, hold on a minute. Wait. Uh, I I'll find a robe for her. Oh, give her mine. Why Torrin angry? Why? Because... Oh, Leanna, don't you see? Now you've got us into a nice kettle of fish. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. Come, Leonie. Today, good day. What? Oh, yeah. I believe you. Oh, but, Uncle, the situation couldn't be much clearer. I believe, Mr. Thorne. No guest would abuse my hospitality in that manner. I will leave your house at once, sir. Oh, there is no hurry. However, I do think it would be better for Liana to break her links with the past without delay. Very well, sir. There's just one thing more. Huh? What's that? As Liana grew up in comparative freedom, she bitterly resents any kind of force or restraint. She feels it as a physical threat. Where is she now, Victor? Locked up in her room to keep her out of mischief. What? You locked her up? Tango! Rahul! Tango! 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 What, have you gone crazy? I'll fix you. Tango! 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 Oh. Tango! 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 Uh, beast! Get the police. The police have no business in my house. You want to leave him around so he can murder someone? He won't harm anyone except to protect himself or Liane. Jala. Wana mitei hara. Jala. Amataki. Don't worry. They'll take good care of you. You'll see. One day he'll cut your throat to express his thanks to you. Uh, Dawn. Please, sir, would you mind if I waited around a bit? I'd like to make sure that she gets over the shock. Why, well, I was just about to ask that of you. <laughs> thanks. You see, Liani? Bye-bye, not yet. Huh? La tu me boada. Unga? Mm. And would you also help me to accustom her to the horrors of our modern-day civilization, huh? Come, dear, come. Don't be afraid. Thank you. 
You shouldn't do that. Now watch it and be careful. All right, now. Here we go. Careful now. Come now, come. to your shoes. There. for me there. Hmm. See, si, senor. And uh, do you have anything for the lady, for Dr. Gada? No, no. Ah. Do you have any letters for me? No, senorina, I'm very sorry. Look, I got a card from Toron, and he writes love and kisses to Jacqueline. Now, what do you say to that? Really? Let's see it. Don't you believe me? Go on, read it. You see, he only thinks about you. Looks like you both make mistakes in spelling. Oh, they're the same as everybody makes. It's all right, Tiber. I know you meant well. It's been finished for quite some time. Come with me. Where? On land. They tell me the wine here is just marvelous. Come on, I feel like dancing again. What? You mean with me? <laughs> oh, Jacqueline. I'm putting on my best suit and I'll be right back. Promise you'll wait. All right. And those will go out tonight, Miss Hanuman? Yes. What time is it? 7.12. Oh, you may go home then. Oh, but there are two men waiting to see you. They said you would know the name, uh, Niedrich. Oh, yes, certainly. I'll see them. Yes, sir. Shall I wait? No, I won't need you anymore. Thank you, sir. Now, hold on. I think I would rather see Niedrig alone first. All right, sir. Good evening, Mr. Gehring. Well, is it set? Will he do it? Of course. I told you you could rely on the Niedrig Detective Agency completely. And the price? A little high. Four bills. Scoundrel. All right. Have you explained to him that I must not be drawn into it in any way whatsoever? Certainly. Your name won't be mentioned, Mr. Gary. I'll see him now. Jensen, here you go. Hello, Mr. Gary. Your name is Jensen, eh? That's right, sir. Jen Jensen. That's my real name. Is it true, as Mr. Niedrich tells me, that you're one of the few survivors of the Imperia? That's right. I was hired out of Cairo. And could you testify that no passengers were among the survivors? Uh, I guess so. Now, what do you mean? Could you or couldn't you? Sure, sure, I could say so. Of course I could. Now, you'd better be sure. You might have to swear to it. Yeah. Mm. Remember the last time we spoke? 
What you said, how you saw her drowned, how you saw her corpse and all that? That's right. That's what I saw. All right, then. You can say it under oath. Sure, under oath. All right, I'll swear to it. I see. It's all in order, then. Uh, He's all right with me, Niedrig. Good night. Uh, no, come on. Never mind. Good night, sir. Come on. Uh, just one more thing, sir. What is it? I just wanted to say, how about some money? Can't you wait for it? All right. Shall I give you a receipt? You're sure that your daughter never described in any of her letters the amulet that she gave to Liani? But that's just it. I can't remember it if she did. There were more letters than these two, but I've lost a few. Hey, Mala Simba, Jala! <laughs> Look, he's just like a cat. Go on after him. Run! Hey! Hey, oh, hey! Mwala, Simba, Mwala. Oh, I don't know. Looks like it's hopeless. Dawn, when must you go back? I'm taking the boat on the 4th. If I were you, I wouldn't worry so much about Liane. Oh? I will take good care of her until you come back. I'm sure you will. Hey, yeah. he! Hey, just look how that little devil is climbing up. Watch out! Don't lose your balance! Oh! Hey! Oh, my goodness. Don't worry, she swims like a fish. Her mother swam like that. Come here! Come here, you little brat! Here, take it. Go on, it's for you. Oh, Pietri. Yeah. yeah. Hey, wait, that's good money. Hey, she threw it away. She's not after me just for my gold. Hey, Long Long. Did you hear that? Long Long, that's me. I'm a Long is too much for her to say. Isn't she a wonderful creature? I think so, too. Come, Leone, breakfast. Yes, 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 yes. Here it is. This must be the last she wrote. Yeah. Now, let's see what happens. She writes. Liana is rather hard to manage. She prefers to play with Terry, her fox terrier, or she climbs on chairs or benches. She won't drink milk, but insists on giving it to her pets. <laughs> she hasn't changed much. Now, you see, isn't that a proof? Don't worry, you don't need any proof for us. Ah, you smear jam on the That is Liana's work of art, Alma. Oh, oh. Yes, yes. See here what my daughter says. Liane just put her hand into the jam pot. As she cannot write, this will be her greeting to you. <laughs> Liane, oh, what a oh, masterpiece. Those dirty Look at hands. her. She marvelous. Oh, <laughs> let me see your fingers. Aren't you ashamed? I'll go in and get her a clean glass. Excuse me, Alma. I wonder if I could have that glass. This one? Mm Good morning. Good morning, morning. Good morning, Victor. Any news? Yes, last night I had a call from an investigator. He says he's located a witness to the shipwreck who says there were The proof no... is here. What? Yes, best proof in the world. What do you mean? Compare the fingerprints on this glass with the fingerprints on this letter. Indeed, you're right. They look perfectly alike. Look here. Look for yourself, Alma. You don't expect to prove it as easy as that. Liana was merely a child when that was written. A person's fingerprints remain the same throughout his whole life. Really? Yes, he's right. I'm sure everyone knows that. Uh, Alma, tell lawyer Vamut I want to see him right away. Or better yet, I'll get him myself. Come along. Now, wait a minute. Oh, Simba Mwala. No, do that. Tell him, please, because I know that he will. Varmut is out of town. Be back tomorrow. He'll be here by noon. Tora, I'm afraid I really don't know how to thank you. Oh, that's all right. Besides, nothing's really proven yet. Of course. Of course it is. I never doubted for an instant that Liani was really my granddaughter. 
Well, I'll be sorry to go. I'm getting to like it here. Well, if you like it, why leave? Well, Liana's going to be taken care of all right, and the professor's waiting for me back there. Besides, what's there to do here now? Oh, you could find something to do, I'm sure. Like what? Oh, I may be wrong, but Liana seems to like a certain young man. <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess you're right, but who am I to try to... What is that dog got? Hey, Blackie, what have you got there? Oh, he just likes to play with paper. Give it here. What's this? There's something strange here, Mr. Amalongan. It's your daughter's letter. How could he have gotten it? Oh, good heavens, sir. He must have taken it from the table. But the dog certainly couldn't have crumpled it. But who would want to do a thing like that? Who would want to make this letter disappear? You mean you really don't know? Alma! Hey, Alma! Yes, Senator? Where's my nephew? He said he was going to town. There he goes now. It's about time I straightened him out on a few points. I'll see you later. Oh, don't worry. Leave him to me. It's better. I'll take care of him tomorrow morning. Will you have dinner with us? I'd like to, but I'm afraid I'd better do some work. Tomorrow at 12, then. When vomit comes. All right. I certainly don't want to miss that. Until tomorrow. All right. I want to say goodbye to Liane. Of course. And remember, my boy, I just wish I knew how to thank you. I'm going away now, Liane. You go? Yes, I must go now, but tomorrow I'll come back and then I'll... You know, I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Goodbye. It's all right. Goodbye, Simba. <laughs> so long. That's right. And whatever you do, make sure that my nephew knows that I'll be expecting to see him tonight to hold the time free. Yes. Mr. Goering is waiting for you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry we're late, but one never knows what to expect from the traffic. Where's the senator? Up in his room, I believe. Oh, my. I hope he's feeling all right. Good morning, Good Alma. Good morning, Councillor. Mr. Thorin. How is the old gentleman? Well, he was up a bit later than usual last night. But he's making up for it this morning. Oh, sure, sure. But does the doctor know about it? Well. Morning, Senator. Mr. Amelon. I'm afraid he might have had an attack. Mr. Ramalongan. Send for locksmith, Alma. He yes. might be dying in there. We'll break the door down. Look out. Well, have none of that. Every second counts. Go ahead if you can. Try it. <laughs> what is that, Victor? Why, it's just a pencil. Where was it? Lying beside the door. Hadn't you better put it back? If you wish. I must ask everyone not to touch anything until the police get here. I'll call them. And when was the last time that you saw Mr. Remmelongen? Last night, about half past twelve. And was there anything strange or unusual about him? Just the usual. Four stiff grogs and a smidgen of curable. Never mind. We don't want so many details. Thank you. You can go. Look, the key is still in the door. So the one who did it couldn't have opened it. Did he come in through the window? Climbing a 30-foot wall. Tonga. Tonga? Who is that? That's how he came up the last time. And what reason would Tonga have to murder old Mr. Amalangan? Can anyone tell me who this knife belongs to? Yes, it's his. It's the one he tried to use on me before. Who? Tonga. Inspector, can I send Liana to get him? He might be afraid. Mm-hmm. 
Go come to Tanga. Yeah. By the way, Inspector, do you still have the pencil that was found near the door? Yes. Here it is. Mind if I see it? No. He's not going to try to make us believe that this pencil is the murder weapon, I trust. No, my dear, well. Tanga. Let's go. No, no hurt. No, 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 no hurt. No, 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 no. And Inspector, is that so? Who else could have climbed the wall? By the way, Inspector, that letter Mr. Amalongan wanted to see me about, you're positive it wasn't found? I should think he'd have put it away someplace. I'm sure it's around here. Not in this room, it isn't. What difference does it make? Suppose we never find the letter. Well, let me have that, please. Who served Mr. Amalong in his breakfast? I did. Oh, no, that's right, I didn't. Mr. Gehring took it away from me on the stairs. Would you let me borrow your piece of string, Mr. Gehring? What piece of string? Why, uh, this one. What are you going to do with it? Oh, I want to test my theory. But this pencil plays an important part in it. You see, this pencil has two slight indentations, one on each side. There, you see, they fit the ring of the key exactly. Now, it would have been possible for someone to pass the string around the pencil like this. Then he could bring the string down below. There it is. Now, if someone pulls the string from the outside, officer, would you be so kind? Well? Interesting, isn't it? Does it prove we've murdered Mr. Amalongan? Well, it might. Wouldn't you say it opens up the possibilities that someone might have murdered Mr. Amalongan and tried to divert mission against someone else who was really innocent? Hmm. I just don't know what to say. Ah, but don't you believe there's one thing you may have forgotten? Uh, may I? Of course. Well, I'll be. Hold! Stop him! Here. Get this door open. Hurry up. Get away from the door. Look out. Look out there. Get to the window. Break it down. black and white. So it is. Girl found in jungle inherits Amalong and fortune. Keller, did you hear that? Ah, uh, that's old news already. Here, this just came in from Nairobi. Rihanna leaving tomorrow for a trip through Africa where she will visit the Danner expedition. She's coming. That's wonderful. Torrance with her in Tonga, too. What a homecoming. He's doing all right for a local boy, huh? <laughs> <laughs>
Last no. week or you'll offend them. All right. <laughs> oh! 